Hello again, minions, it's Wheezy. Today I'm going to show you where to find all of the armory data and gene seed locations in the Operation Inferno in Space Marine 2. So let's jump into it. I'm going to kind of speed run you through the mission and show you kind of my route for most efficiently going to all the locations where the armory data and the gene seed can spawn in Inferno so that you don't miss it ever again. For those of you who aren't aware, an armory data spawn on the map happens every single operation, as well as a gene seed spawn. Um, where it spawns is pseudo-random in that it has a set number of locations it can spawn, and it will randomly spawn at one of those locations. And if you know where they are, you will make sure that every single time you go through an operation, you get the armory data and the gene seed. Once you get to normal level difficulty or above, or I'm sorry, average level difficulty or above, you may also encounter a extremist level enemy or a ter sorry, a terminus level enemy during the operation, which will give you a second armory data. Um, but that is random when that boss spawns and you have to kill it to get that extra armory data piece. So let's just go ahead and deal with these guys. So this is neither an armory data nor a uh, gene seed location spawn, but a guardian relic will spawn there decently often. Oh, Sometimes supplies spawn here, but the first location here for the gene seed is right here on top of this box. That's Gene Seed Spawn location number one. Alright, so now we're entering the location where you can find the first piece of armory data. It's gonna be up there, I'll show you. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Okay, so you can either come through this tunnel or go up that way. And the first armory data spawn location is right back here. Spawn right behind that table. Sometimes a guardian relic will spawn right here. Oh, there is one. Hello. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you can find in this area is another gene seed location. This is where we so I'm gonna the kill these guys and then we'll show you that. Those spore mites fucking killed their own guy. All right. God damn. <laughs> All right, so the next possible gene seed location is right back here, behind this here tree. You guys have some of that and just fuck off. Thank you. Oh, 
God damn it, would you guys fuck off? Sorry, this door closes. Alright. The next armory data location. Boom! Right this way. And here it is. So again, it will spawn in one of these. On this one, it's over there. But... It can, if it will only spawn in one. So once you find it, you don't have to check any of the other locations. But of course, I'm gonna show you all of the possible locations. Because I'm a good guy like that. Uh, the next gene seed location is right back here. As it spawns here. If it spawns here, you can actually wait and grab it before you leave. Uh, in case you don't want to pick it up, you can't obviously carry a Guardian Relic and a Gene Seed at the same time. And if you get downed with the, the Gene Seed, even once, you lose it. So you cannot get downed at all with the Gene Seed. Another good thing to know is you can check and see if your team has the armory data and the gene seed. You can see it in the status here. Whoa! You motherfucker, I was talking! Whatever. But yeah, you can check in here. You can also see if your teammates have stims. It's a good, good status screen to get an idea of how your team's going. All right, there's another gene seed location here. All right, so a gene seed location can spawn right there. The Imperium has spoken. And there is an armory data location here. Sometimes supplies spawn here. So it's worth checking. This is not an armory data location spawn or a gene seed spawn. The last gene seed spawn location for this mission is right here behind this little box wall thing. The data, armory data spawn location is right here by this table. Thanks, guys. Bye, right, guys. Va Vanguard, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, that's a first. That is a Space Marine T pose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rock out. Oh, okay. Did he? Did you snap out of it? All right, thanks, bro. And what? Armory data can spawn there. And then, yeah, that's. That's it! Then it's the final engagement. Then I usually run this route at the beginning. Because there will often be supplies along the back here. Sometimes there will be medical supplies back here. Ammo there, usually. Some supplies. Even on the higher level difficulties, you'll see it here. Occasionally, a guardian relic. I was a little slow. 
When you get out here first, you can run over to either this side or the other side, although this one is the most common side. Sometimes you'll get an ammo pack there. You can activate this. And then if you have a teammate, they can do that. Or you can do it yourself. The fucking bots are too dumb to do it. But if you activate that... It'll ignite that whole area. And kill guys that are in there. Obviously I waited too long to do that, but yeah, you can. There's enough trash mobs. I'm not gonna mess with those if I can avoid it. If I can get a Majoris and kill one of those, it'll take out a bunch of these guys. That's a much more efficient use of resources. <laughs> Bye, guys! Good job, bots. You got them. Oh, hi. No, thanks. Then it's just a matter of going over to the extra. Alright, hopefully you guys found that helpful and informative. If you guys enjoyed seeing all of the Gene Seed and Armory Data locations, you can leave me a like. If you didn't like having me spoil the hidden item locations, you can leave me a dislike. Subscribe for more. I'm going to try to do a video for each one of these operations. And, uh, yeah, stick around for more awesome goodness from Weezy. See you guys in the next one.